Before installing the new brake calipers, I'm going to show you how to make minor adjustments to your factory brakes. You want to release this brake lever adjustment screw and basically just loosen it and it makes the cable tighter. If it still seems loose to you, grab your 5mm Allen wrench, go down to the brake caliper and make an adjustment at the brake lever here. So then you'll loosen the nut on the brake lever and basically just move it towards the top position. The higher up you get it, the tighter your brake lever is going to be. So this is minor adjustments as you go to figure out where you want your brake. And you want your brake lever about an inch from the handlebar grip like so. And then we'll move to the rear brakes. Pretty much doing the same thing here, adjusting the lever. And you can tell if it's tight just by squeezing it. Then just double check, make sure your brake caliper and your rotor are all lined up properly. I'll put a link in the description to a better, more detailed video on how to make brake adjustments, but this is just a quick and dirty version. Now it's time to move on to the install of the new brake calipers. So now we're gonna install the new brakes, but first we have to remove the old ones. So you wanna remove the brake cable from the lever here just by loosening that nut. Once you get it loose enough, the cable just comes right out. And then we'll leave the existing hardware on to the brake cable and pull the brake cable through the hole here. And we do this so we don't have to clip off that end. So just basically pull it through and set it to the side. Loosen the two bolts on the brake caliper bracket, making the caliper loose. And then removing the caliper by taking the two front bolts off like we see here. Once you get both bolts completely removed, the brake caliper should come right off. We're now preparing the new brake calipers for installation. Tighten the bracket all the way up and then do one quarter turn the opposite direction. And that'll make the brake caliper and bracket kind of loose. And then when you get everything installed, this will help you make adjustments to the brakes once you get to that point. Now just slide the caliper over the rotor. Put the bracket behind the frame and then take two bolts and tighten it up and it doesn't matter which bolts you use the factory ones are the ones that came with the calipers i use the factory ones but they're pretty much identical and then you just use your five millimeter allen wrench to tighten this all up now we're going to remove the adjustment screw off the new caliper because we're going to use the existing one that we had on the cable that we didn't slide off earlier. So just slide the cable down through the hole here, screw the adjustment screw in, and then we're going to work on getting slack out of our cable so that the brakes are tight whenever we squeeze the lever. Now that we got the brake pretty much installed, we're going to make adjustments to the brake system by doing pretty much the same thing we did before, adjusting the lever, making it tight, and squeezing the lever up on the handlebar. And then the final adjustment we have to make is just squeezing the brake lever and tightening these two bolts in the back, and that should line everything up. And now that we're done with the rear calipers, it's basically the exact same process for the front. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that. Basically just loosen the back two bolts as I'm doing in the video. And then you'll remove the brake cable by twisting the existing hardware out, pulling the cable out of the attachment there, and then unscrewing the adjustment screw all the way and pulling the cable through like we did on the rear. Next, you just set that cable to the side, unscrew the bracket all the way, both bolts, and then attach the new brake caliper to the existing wire, screw that in, and then mount the bracket up to the frame and adjust all the bolts just like we did before and test everything, make sure everything works properly. And then the final step is just to clean the calipers with some rubbing alcohol Make sure you clean the front and the back 
and then we'll go out and do a test drive. Yeah.